From small flowers to full body dragons, getting inked is still in. In Hawaii, tattoos are more accepted because they're part of ancient Polynesian and Asian culture. But tattoos are more than just permanent pictures. They often tell a story about someone's life. Kia TV4 News this morning anchor Mahalani Richardson begins her three-part series on tattoos. Tonight, she shows us the stories behind the ink. You either have one tattoo or a lot more. It hurts, but it, it, I guess it does feel good when you're all done. You know someone with one or you're thinking about getting it. I like how the tattoos kind of tell a story. While tattoos used to be taboo, they're not anymore. A recent study showed Honolulu as the eighth most tattooed city in America based on the number of tattoo shops here. That's six and a half shops per 100,000 people. Paula Manabe inks people for a living at Pacific Soul Tattoo. And on this day, Erin Fujita is getting a Japanese design of a koi fish on her arm. She trusted me enough to let me do something on her body that's permanent, you know. For me, that goes a long way. Erin's body art is a symbol of her family and growing up with koi fish. But ironically, it was her family that worried about the stigma of a large permanent marking. I told my mom at least specifically what I wanted and she was like, oh, I don't know why you need to get something so big. This eyeball here is for the crazy things that I've seen in life. Keone Kobayashi will be getting tattooed over much of his upper body and arms. Basically, they call this the unemployable stamp. But he's wanted intricate ink for years since high school when he tatted his own fingers with a needle and thread. You don't realize that it's ugly. But I would never take it away. Behind every tattoo, there's a story. Some are willing to share their story, but others are not. My grandparents are very traditional Japanese, um, so they just just don't think it's right. Allie's family doesn't know about the colorful peacock feathers tattooed on the side of her stomach, so she keeps it covered. As for Keone Kobayashi, he wants to see more of his life story displayed on his body. Once you start getting bigger tattoos or pieces, then you just want to have more. I'm feeling pretty good. Not so bad. You look like you're doing fine. <laughs> I try to keep it together. I don't want to, you know, make a big scene while he's trying to make it all pretty. Erin's session lasts a few hours, and despite the blood and pain, she loves that her tat tells a story which will be with her forever. Mahalani Richardson, KITV4 News.